Is Virgin too good to be true? Welcome aboard! You're just in time for a room tour. Let's start with the bathroom. In here is a separate toilet. It has rainfall shower, and a sink, and it's open. It doesn't have a door. And when you come through, we have this white space, the safe. And some drawers where you can put your things. A comfy throw. Now, this bed can actually be turned into a sofa in case you want a little bit more space during the daytime or if you want to entertain guests. Here is your work or dresser. Here's provided both European and American outlets, as well as USB. They provide also a tablet where you can pick out the movie, change the mood, the music, the lighting of the cabin. It's really sweet space. You also have this comfy chair, a mini fridge provided for you. Let's look at the balcony. This has a bigger balcony. And this is your hammock where you can relax and enjoy the sea view. Now let us give you a ship tour. Come on, follow me. We'll go down all the way to deck 6 and we'll make ourselves up to the top. Here you'll find medical center. Ban aids, seasick tablets, and the most important thing for you on a cruise. You don't want to make babies <laughs> Deck 5 you can find the sailor service and the redemption spa. Also a few restaurants, but we'll talk a little later about those. Here on deck 6 you can find multiple restaurants, a nightclub, Cheers. casinos, even a tattoo shop, and some shopping. And here on deck 7, in aft, you'll find the lounge called the deck. Also, you'll find here the game room, the red room, the pizza, and the groupie, which is a karaoke place. You can get there your own room. They are divided by different colors. It's very cool. As well, here you can grab your coffee. Now, deck 8 to 14 are mostly cabins and end suites. And here on deck 15, you'll find the galley, which is basically a place you can eat almost anytime. You have a variety of food here, sushi, noodles, sweets, coffee, everything you can imagine. Also, you can find here the Gun Bay, which is a Korean restaurant, the gym, the yoga room, fitness, and even the spin class. The open pool area, jacuzzis. Here on deck 16, it's mostly open. You'll find a lot of lounges and places to rest. As well in the aft, you'll find the athletic club. And in the front, you'll find the Pokeball and Richard's rooftop. And here on the top deck, on the deck 17, you can find the Perch, which is another lounge area. As well, here is a runaway. It's literally a 250 meters truck around with an amazing view of the ocean. How about the many food options? Let's start with Pink Agave. And it is not your normal Mexican restaurant, offering a wide variety of specialties that inspire you to discover authentic Mexican flavors. Offering creative indoor lighting, discover as well an expansive array of mezcals. And if you are the curious type, you can grab yourself a drink with real crickets. Cheers. 
If Italian cuisine and family-style dining is more your taste, you are on the right spot. Extra Virgin features communal tables and private dining room. Each dish is a delight and given in huge servings. And here you can have your dessert served to you in a cart called affogato and you have all these toppings put in it like marshmallows and all these goodies and topped with espresso. Razzle Dazzle is a creative twist of contemporary fare and juice bar. All dishes can be made naughty with meat add-ons or boozy shots, while the nice menu puts a flip on the traditional dishes by offering plant-based, vegetarian, and vegan alternatives to classic dishes like the Impossible Burger. Now, each dish is Instagram-worthy as well. Ganbei, a social, interactive, and fun dining experience. The food is cooked on the built grill right in front of you. Each meal is served with a complimentary round of soju, and of course, you can take part in lively Korean drinking games. It is experiment mixed with cooking class and culinary curiosity. <laughs> now you take a fork with the knife, you scoop it. Okay. Give it to the Guinness beer bread. It's fine dining with small plates and everything is different from what you normally would eat. Finish. I can just say that everything was finger licking good. Sophisticated and glamorous, the wake, which is our favorite, has a chop house atmosphere, raw bar, tableside drink cart service, and champagne poured by the glass from a magnum bottle. Each of their dish is so good, I already feel hungry thinking about it. Now let's go check out a show. Can I have two red keys? <laughs> Welcome to Team Red. Please sit on the left hand side. Red. On this side. <laughs> Dual Reality, a tale of Romeo and Juliet with a modern twist featuring acrobatic storytelling. and you get to be part of it. And if you shake your app, you'll get something. Shake for champagne? Yes, please. Virgin does not have a formal night, but once during the entire sailing, you get to experience a scarlet night, where you are encouraged to wear something red. But where this cruise takes you? On this five nights journey, which we embarked in Miami, is taking us to two destinations. And the first one is Puerto Plata. Day of embarkation!
second destination is Bimini Bahamas. Being on almost 9 square mile island, surrounded by the clear blue water, we just decided to... Don't forget to grab your Bahama Mama while you're in Bahamas. Cheers! We would like to share with you our main takeaway. What you will like or may not like. You'll know if this is the right cruise ship for your future trip. If you plan traveling with kids, then this is definitely not the right cruise for you. This is an all adults 18 plus cruise ship. If you're looking for traditional foods, you may not like this cruise too. A lot of the restaurants here have like a modern twist, vibe, different type of food, and it's not something you would find in a regular cruise ship. This is all-inclusive cruise and you don't have to pay for specialty dining. However, the alcohol it is for a fee, but there usually is some very good promotions that Virgin offers its clients that you can definitely avail depending on the time. Something very important I'll suggest to do. Download the app for Virgin Voyagers way before you're going to the cruise. Here is multiple restaurants and if you come here for five days, you probably want to dine in five of them to get in you will need to book it ahead and it makes your life a lot easier it will guide you through some of the requirements that they need from you like the passport details and then like he mentioned you would be able to plan out your dining experiences do we want to come back here definitely yes we're not very big on a parties, however, we had a great time here. I truly love the dining experience from the lunchtime to breakfast to dinner. Everything was great. And even though the alcohol is not included, the pricing is actually pretty practical. Thanks for watching and you know what to do. Thank you guys. See you Bye. again next time. Until next time.